the citizen channel we get back to premier league action after the disappointment of getting knocked out of something that used to be our cup didn't it but it's not ours any longer will it be ever again that's what we're sort of thinking at the moment uh, perhaps we, as long as we keep having bigger fish to fry um do we care possibly not but we'll see won't we we might be might be grateful of, of it in a few years time if we're still in it of course right we'll have a look at uh, wolves wolverhampton wanderers against city a 3 p.m kickoff not on the tv this one again on the 30th of September 2023, I've managed to get a ticket for this. So if you do spot me, come and say hello. It'd be great to great to see you. So we're going to have a look at quick a quick look of how Wolves are doing. Not so great. A bit of a mixed bag so far. Uh, when I say mixed bag, pretty pretty naff. Uh, so hopefully um, we can do the business. Um, and I'll, of course, attempt to predict Pepsi 11. I got eight for the uh, Carabao Cup game. I was quite impressed with that. I'm hoping to get at least ten with this one uh, this week. Let's see what happens. Eh? Let's, uh, I'm hoping all, they've all come out fit from that Newcastle game, a bit physical, weren't they, Newcastle? Especially Phil Foden took a couple of kicks as well, so I'm hoping he's okay. And, of course, another chance for you to win a King of the Kipak subscription, so stay tuned to find out how to do that. Right, please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything City past and present, and as long as I'm here doing it and I can do it, I uh, hope you enjoy, and please spread the word, uh, give, us, give us your thoughts, give us your comments. Anything to do with City it doesn't have to be with this Wolves game. It can be anything at all to do with City. So please, be great to hear from you. And if you've got a chance, just give us a thumbs up. It's uh, always very appreciative. It just makes everything seem a little bit more worthwhile if you can do that, guys. So uh, please, if you can. Right, on to Gary O'Neill's Wolves, who have again had a troubled start to their season. They struggled a little bit last season, didn't they? They're in 16th at the moment, just one win and a draw from the first six games. The one win was away at, uh, well, struggling Everton at the time, but they've sort of uh, bounced back a little bit, haven't they, recently? Uh, the latest game for Wolves was a trip to Luton, which ended in a draw, but they were down to 10 men for almost two-thirds of this game, so it was a bit of a, a rear-guard action, but they held on for a draw, so it wasn't a bad result, uh, all, all, all things considered. Only six games in, though, it looks like another season of struggle for poor Wolves. Well, I won't say poor Wolves, I don't... I'm not overly bothered either, either way. In fairness, um, of course, they were hit by they've been hit by FFP worries, so that meant, meant they had to restrict perhaps who they were buying and get a couple of uh, big money spinners in by selling, of course, Nunes to us. And of course, Ruben Neves was a big move to uh, Saudi Arabia. So after City, the next three games, they've got Villa at home, who are doing well. Bournemouth away, never easy. And Newcastle at home, who we know are doing very, very well. I can only expect really for a one to three points maximum from those uh, three games. So even if three, uh, that will only leave them with seven points after ten games. I don't think they're going to get anything against us. So it's going to be another long season for the team in gold looking over the shoulders, isn't it? I think this season, will they find three worse than them? Possibly. In midweek, though, away to it, so it's, yeah, they, it all looked good. All looked good early doors. I think they went 2-0 up in about 15 minutes. Uh, but sadly, like us, they're now out of the Carabao Cup. Yes, they lost 3-2. Uh, we should be far too strong uh, for, for Wolves, to be honest with you. And, and their four points at the moment from six games should be cut come four from seven. So that's what I'm doing. I'll give you my little match prediction uh, while we're doing the odds in a little while. That brings us to Pepsi 11, of course. Uh, before we look at that, a chance for you, of course, to win this 10-issue subscription to Dave and Sue Wallace's brilliant King of the Kip Hacks. I've got the latest one up on the wall, which I've, I've, I always managed to read through in a couple of evening sittings. Brilliant as ever. Some great hard copy information for all City fans. It's now in its 37th season, of course, uh, fast approaching 300 issues. That's two nine, issue 298 up there. So uh, celebrations, no doubt, for number 300. All you need to do to enter this competition is be a subscriber. If you're not, just press that button. If you're not already, it's free. Just post your start in the 11 in the comments section. 
this vlog on the channel beginning with the with hashtag wolves or just write hashtag wolves then you start in 11 and then predict your score line so put uh, city 6 nil or wolves 4-1 or whatever uh, after that so please make sure you put the hashtag wolves your starting 11 and then your predicted score line any entries without that hashtag Wolves will be ineligible for the prize. Some TNCs, all entries must be posted by 9am on the morning of the game, which is, of course, uh, the 30th of September 2023. There might be a, um, won't be much leeway on that because I'll be setting off myself to get there. But, uh, yeah, so 9am anyway uh, to be eligible. Anything after that, of course, uh, will be ineligible for the prize. And uh, I will make a draw. If there's, if there's a more than one winner, I will make a draw. It's proving quite difficult, but uh, that's the old idea isn't it please know only one entry per subscriber more than one and all entries will be ineligible my decision in respect of all matters to do with the competition will be final no correspondence will be entered and winners will be contacted by reply through my little uh, vlog comment section so good luck right on to my expected 11 you can use this as the basis for it if you want <laughs> you might not who knows but let's have a look at that squad that turned out for the game Against Newcastle, uh, the starting lineup: Ortega, Luis Akanji, Aki, Gavardio, Kovacic, Phillips, Gomez, Bob, Alves, and Grealish. The subs, which obviously I think will make the backbone of the team for this Wolverhampton game, apart from perhaps uh, obviously young Hamilton, Edison, Carson, probably not, Walker, Diaz, Haaland, Doku, Nunes, and Foden. So off the bench to start versus Wolves, we're left really with Edison, Walker, Diaz, Harland, Doku, Nunes and Foden, aren't we? I think now, unless there's any injuries picked up or any twinges, I think that's more or less set in stone. Still no KDB, of course, possibly still still no Stones and Bernardo. We won't really know till Pep's press conference, but we've not seen much sight and the sound of him yet, even though KDB is knocking in and around, isn't he? He's still going to be a, a, month, a couple of months away. And of course, uh, Bernardo and Stones should be imminent, should be imminent, but still nothing on that so I've, I've ignored those for the sake of this is suddenly making an appearance fantastic and of course we're going to be missing a guy called uh, Rodri aren't we yeah, what can we say about Rodri that's that's a silly Rodgers plonker Rodgers uh, so that's seven plus four from the Newcastle game that's seven from the bench plus four from the Newcastle game Newcastle starting lineup so of the four who's, who's going to be the four well these are the guys in contention for me and I've only put five in of the eleven Akanji, Aki, Gavardio, Kovacic and Alvarez Phillips didn't did for me not state a case for at first picking neither did Grealish to start him over Doku it's Premier League so Bob will be back on the bench and Lewis, I think, will take second spot to Walker again. Gomez will have to wait, though he didn't let Pep down playing out of position on, on Wednesday night. No Rodri, so we need perhaps two players compensating as best we can with a little tweak to Pep's formation, I think, uh, which will probably work. So as mentioned, they had five players there that I considered will be eligible uh, for four positions. Uh, to miss out, perhaps, yeah, perhaps Aki. Uh, but he will be unlucky to do so after another good performance against Newcastle. So based on those little observations of mine and who's not available and the fact I've not accounted for Stones or Bernardo being available, this is my 11. Let me know what you think, guys. As I said, put your Pepsi 11 in for a chance to win that subscription. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for Edders. Walker, Diaz, Akanji, Gavardio, Kovacic, Nunes, Foden, Alvarez, Haaland and Doku. That's not a bad team, is it? Hey, that'll do. That'll do for me. That'll that that if that doesn't beat Wolves then we may as well call it a day, might we? Maybe we'll say goodbye to the treble, might we? If that, if that can't beat Wolves, but we'll see anyway. I say it's football, it's 11 against 11 on the day, isn't it? My prediction for this one, I don't have a, a Mozza's prediction this this uh, for this game. Uh, I'm gonna go 3 1 to City. I'll give Wolves a goal. I always think we'll, we'll let a probably goal in at the moment. Uh, and Wolves and nothing again, a free hit, nothing to lose. Uh, uh, they, they're pretty desperate. I can't, I can't see. Uh, O'Neill playing too defensively I think he'll have a go try and hit us on the break where we've been a little bit suspect certainly again against Newcastle all right with a a, 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 a weaker 11 shall we say but we have been a little bit suspect of that and I think managers are seeing that so I think we'll try and do that of course so that's my prediction 3-1 to City let me know what your thoughts are guys what your 
your thoughts. So you say, if you don't want to enter the competition, just let me know if you agree with that team, etc., etc. Just let me know what you think. So what are the odds looking like? Well, the Premier League was still the firm favourites, two to five on. Is still available in a place, although it's uh, firming up to eleven to four on at the moment. But hey, we're, you're only one defeat away from that being uh, moving out all of a sudden. Liverpool are thirteen to two second favourites, and you can still get ten to one in a place for Arsenal as well. Wolves, yeah, to stay up, it's fairly. Cut. There's a lot of confidence despite the poor start. One to four on to stay up, and they're eleven to four against to be relegated. The match odds themselves, not not the shortest for City, were three to ten on, which. You know, almost almost bettable that isn't it? Three to ten on a draw is nine to two, and a Wolves victory is seventeen to two. And my three one score line that I predicted, you can get a, a nice little ten to one on that. And the favourite score lines with the bookies at the moment are two nil at six to one and three nil at seventeen to two. So there you go, guys. I a little summing up of Pepsi level. Let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear from you. Of course, I'll be back with the ratings and talking points show. Possibly Sunday morning. I don't think uh, I won't be back too late, but obviously it might be knocking on a bit by the time I put this uh, the script together and look back at the game against Wolves. So uh, for a safety, I'll say Sunday. It could be late Saturday night, but more more Sunday for the player ratings and talking points. And that's followed very quickly, of course, the preview of the trip to uh, in the Champions League to Leipzig so we've got a Pepsi 11 that should be out on Monday with our look forward to that trip against Leipzig but another big game uh, which will be followed by another even bigger game won't it in theory after that but uh, join me that's next week let's get this one done and dusted and talk about it and we'll worry about next week ne next week from Monday onwards please all your comments are very very welcome thanks for watching guys much appreciated until we meet again I only ever ask one thing don't I please stay safe Blues come on City Bye for now.